everybody, my name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. I just want to give you guys some Coke Play news. So this is it right here. Japan, US, South Korea to step up efforts against crypto theft by North Korea. Pretty sure they stole a lot of money from, or cryptos from a lot of exchanges. Um, and then, you know, changed it to USDT and then somehow washed it up. And probably they used some of that money to fund all those missiles that they've been shooting. Here's so October 7th. Senior Japanese, U.S., and South Korean officials agreed in telephone talks on Friday to strengthen efforts to prevent North Korea from procuring funds through the theft of crypto assets. The South Korean Foreign Ministry said. Sorry, it's 12.15 in the morning. All right, so yeah. Okay, because, you know, once again, what what are they doing with the money, right? Um, probably make more weapons or shoot off more weapons. The talks were joined by Takehiro Funakoshi, Director General of Japanese Foreign Ministry, Asian and Oceanian, Oceanian, Ocean, I guess, Affairs Bureau, uh, Sung Kim, U.S. Special Representative for North Korea, and Kim Gon, South Korea's Special Representative so for Korean Peninsula Peace and Security Affairs. North Korea is believed to be focusing on cyber attacks to procure, procure funds, which, yeah, you know, they have... They're probably doing anything and everything they can to get as much funds as possible, including hacking cryptos. I'm not surprised. In April, the U.S. Federal Bureau of, of Investigation said a North Korean hacker group had conducted a cyber attack against an online game network and stolen so, wow, $620 million. That's serious. And, you know, it's not like you could just arrest these hackers because the government is, the North Korean government is backing them, supporting them, protecting them. I guess what you get when you have government-trained hackers. In the phone talks, the three officials also agreed to further bolster international cooperation to prevent attempts by North Korea to avoid sanctions, such as offshore ship-to-ship -ship cargo transfer. On a recent series of missile launches by Pyongyang, the three affirmed that their countries would not overlook North Korea's attempt to make its uh, provocative acts everyday events, okay? So, yeah, uh, definitely we will, I think a lot of people will prefer North Korea, you know, not to shoot missiles than to shoot missiles. And, you know, it's good that you have South Korea working with the United States and Japan to prevent North Korea from um, hacking. But what this also does is it's probably going to give South Korea some more know-how, um, expertise, knowledge, and experience to prevent hacking in general. So what it does is then you have these Korean exchanges... Or even, uh, you know, Korean cryptos where they could be better protected by what's offered by the government, I guess. And so also, it'll um, the government will amp up the skills needed to prevent hacking, right, um, crypto exchanges and crypto wallets from being hacked, and as they amp that up, that means they're going to, you know, produce more skilled workers, that's right, to prevent hacks, and so what does that do overall, well, what that does is adds more security and safety to the crypto market in South Korea, and as it adds more, you know, security and safety in terms of your cryptos not getting hacked, which I think will also lead to safety and security for, you know, coins or tokens 
um, connected to Korea, run by Korean you know companies or people such as Kocoin, then that'll entice more investors, overseas investors, to, you know, go into um, the crypto market, but also coins per um or or exchanges or projects crypto projects that are you know backed and supported and protected by the South Korean government because that's what you want as an investor you want some kind of safety and when you see a government doing that then that's a place that's a ecosystem and economy where you want to go into right and it's like gold and silver you you have a lot of gold mines or silver mines in countries where the government is not that stable. And so gold companies or silver companies are afraid to go into the country to get a license to start mining there because it's not a stable government. It could change. The regime could change. It's, you know, you could just lose everything you put in. As of if you have a gold mine or silver mine in a very stable country, the government is stable then yeah, investors, you know, big companies are willing to go in there because there's safety. And that's basically, you know, same thing with South Korea. They're de they're um, developing safety into the crypto space in Korea. And that'll bring in investors into, you know, investing in uh, crypto projects, tokens, coins. In Korea, and so because they see the safety, like like gold and silver mines, and you know that's just how I see it, and so that's gonna obviously help. Uh, you know, I think it'll help Coke play. You know, because it is, yeah, maybe it is based in a uh, another country, but that's because of the laws they did that. But you know, Coke play has off an office. In Korea, right? Because people in the administrative side are Korean. And so that'll help Coke play in terms of getting investors. And so that's what I see when I read this article. And, you know, of course, I like the idea of them blocking North Korea from robbing anybody's cryptos. That's for sure. All right. And so, yeah. So is that, is that good? Sure, I, that's good news for Coldplay. All right, everybody, uh, that's it for this one. Remember, uh, please take good care of yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, you know, exercise. Go in prayer, you know, uh, take good care of yourself, all right? And, you know, surround yourself with the right people. Make sure you're safe. All right, make sure you're safe out there. Uh, remember, I still think things will get worse, you know, um, before they get better. So you want to make sure you're you're around people that can also, not only they're good people, but people that can, you know, protect you, right? You want to <laughs> link up with the right groups. Um, and, yeah, you, you know, I mean, I wouldn't... Imagine, uh, let's say, like, let's say, even if inflation goes down for a bit, for some months, you still got to remember, like, let's say in 2021, a product cost $100. And now, you know, let's say it was at 8%, so that same product cost $108. And then let's say next year, you know, maybe inflation could get down to 6% from 2022 prices. So 2023 and 2022, that product, in 2021, the product was $100. In 2022, is $108. Well, in 2023, even when it's only just 6% inflation compared to the year before, is not a hundred eight plus a hundred uh, six dollars that makes a hundred fourteen is six percent out of the hundred eight dollars, so it's gonna be like a hundred fourteen something cents. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's calm, you know. I mean, don't let inflation rates just because it went lower doesn't mean it stopped. 
and you're looking at inflation compared to the previous year, not, you know, not way back when it first started. So keep that in mind. So yeah, do I think inflation like that is going to get worse? Of course, it's going to get worse next year because even if inflation, they say it's 5%, 6%. Yeah, 5 6% from the previous year. And the year before that, it was like 8 9%. You know, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a good sign. And you might see, uh, you know, in some places you're going to see supply shortages as well. So, you know, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I am just telling you what I'm doing or what I'm thinking. I give you reasons why. But for me, you know, I'd I rather uh, prep a bit, right? Better safe than sorry. Okay. And, yeah. So... So I'm going to have to leave it as that. All right, everyone. Remember, um, yeah, actually here, here. Let's just, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So you remember I told y'all that Cocoin can see a dump. And it did. It went all the way down to like 28.8. Cents. I mean, 28. 28 cents right and yeah i'm not surprised what you what i would expect remember i would imagine like two weeks from now a lot of these games will be lost okay but what you want to do is i say cocoin if it goes back down it could touch the blue if it goes under the blue then you got to follow the next line or it could go down and touch this and then you have another bounce. Okay, I can even show you a conversation I had with, with uh, older bro Terry where I was saying, yeah, around 28 cents, you're going to have a bounce. <laughs> I said 28 cents, like 28.5, but it went about 28.8, around 28.5. And you had your bounce. Right? And so, you know, you can see because you just see it in the past. You see it in the past. That's why. You know, I mean, think about it. Like, it went up. You find it just miraculously that on the next candle, it's on the pink line or purple purple line. And then it goes down, but on the next candle, it goes to the blue. It goes down. It goes up. You have a wick a little above the, the yellow. It goes down and... It, you see how the price actions follow the lines a lot of the times. When it's under the blue, then the blue pushes the prices down, right? Now it's above. And so, yeah, I would imagine eventually it's going to get under the blue and it's going to dip down. With the yellow, put some support as a possibility. Or you'll see a bounce right here, wherever the price is for this purple line. Right? Uh, yesterday, the reason why I said I told older bro Terry around twenty eight point twenty eight cent five or whatever twenty eight around twenty eight cents or twenty eight and a half cents is because the blue line was around that price range, and so I just look at the past and I go, oh, yeah, that's where you you'll probably see a bounce, and you got the bounce, you know. So yeah, uh, and remember, don't be like, oh, oh nobody warned me or. Nobody told me the possibilities of of, of a pumping up or any of that because I did. I told y'all, right? So you can, and then you know, if I told y'all, you can't be like, well, you know, nobody that that uh promotes Coke Play. You know, warned us. Well, Lady Coke Play did because she ha she told me to make these videos to tell y'all honestly what I think. You know, and remember, I told y'all, I told y'all, when you look at content makers for co coin prices, they're content makers. They're not traders, right? If you want, if you're going to, you know, if you want to, remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I don't tell y'all what to do. I just tell you what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. But I would listen to a trader or... On possibilities of prices and where prices will go 
over some content creator who has no experience trading. That's just me. Because traders know. <laughs> traders go by charts. Okay. They go to the left. They go to the past. Before, <laughs> okay. Not some news. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just, you know. But anyway, yeah, look, everyone, God bless all, all of you. I'm praying for all of you in Jesus' name. Stay safe out there. Please take good care of yourself. Please take good care of each other. All right? God bless y'all, and of course, Coke on.